got Coach Ed Beasy here, back at Cam Chronicles Media, here at Golden Impala. You got that big eye, part one out. Part one, part two, whenever. Part two, you might wake up tomorrow, see part <laughs> You might wake up tomorrow, see part two and three out. I don't know. <laughs> I'm feeling go crazy, bro, for real. Sure. How you feeling, Beasy? I feel straight, I feel good, bro. I feel good. A lot on your mind? Huh? A lot on your mind? As far as what? Just in general? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, a lot on my mind. I got, I'm gonna get married, bro. Congratulations, brother. <laughs> I'm gonna get married. Hey, I got another level, baby huh? on the way. I got another baby on the way. I'm gonna get married, bro. I gotta go hard. I gotta get this. You know what it is? Elevate. For sure. Fighting demons, fighting high, I don't sleep right. Trying to slow down on the perks, I don't be thinking right. Tried to kick the cuff twice, I picked it back up. For a pandemic hit, bitch, I was masked up. Playing ding dong, dish trying to get my bag up. Before I ever made a rap, patch was wrapped up. Finally doing something, I'ma love, I used to act up. Me and bro was packing niggas at school, couple baths. Hey, what's going on, world? This is K Williams for Can Chronicles Media. Got another sit down this afternoon. Here back again for the third time is Coach FBZ. FBZ recently dropped a project titled Big Out Part 1, in which I feel is his best work up to date. It's some more open and honest, fierce FBZ. We're here to discuss it all. FBZ, what's going on, man? What's up, bro? You back, man? <clears throat> Hell yeah, how to? How you feeling? I feel good. How you feel, bro? Man, I'm... I'm cool, man. Sure I'm cool. No complaints. Uh, yeah. So you've been busy these days? Super. Recording? Recording. Uh, videos. Uh, trying to open this studio up. Just all type of shit. I got my foot in all type of shit right now. <clears throat> you trying to open up a studio? Yep. Okay, okay. Trying when did that come about? When did that idea come about? Uh, just, uh, shit, I got a studio at my house, but... Like, hell of my niggas be trying to come record at my house, but I don't really like, you feel me? Like, that's, that's my house, you feel me, so. Um, that and shit, I just be paying for studio time, and I see a lot of people. Honestly, bro, I see a lot of weak-ass rappers pay a lot of money for studio time, so, you feel me? Like, I just figured it, you feel me? It'll be a good uh, good investment, because I do music, so I'm not going to pay for no more studio time. And everybody around me do music, so, you feel me? We're going to get it down like that. You feel me? They're going to have somewhere to go. Call headquarters. You feel me? Call, you feel me? The home of the pros. You feel me? Uh, and shit. Yeah, it's just an investment. You know, I'm all about investments. I'm trying to open up businesses. That's not the only one, but that's what I've been having my main uh, focus on is, is that studio. That's my main business right now. I'm trying to open it. For sure, for sure. That's a good uh, bit of information, man. Uh, always forward thinking. Yeah. Trying to get to the next level in lieu sure. of rap. For sure. Absolutely. So when you woke up this morning, mm -hmm. describe how you felt in three words. Uh, three words. Uh, shit, good, great, and awesome. <laughs> <laughs> good, great, and awesome. Shit, I feel good. Okay. okay. So I'm glad, I'm glad I woke up this morning. Absolutely. Three words of uh, encouragement, three words of, you know, you being thankful and having gratitude just for life, right? Yeah, for sure. Let's talk about things that um, you're happy about. You just mentioned you want to open up a studio, so yeah. you're thinking on the next level. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about <clears throat> rap career so far? Uh, my rap career? Mm hmm As far as what? Just the overall, like your fan base, them being open and honest with your music. They fucking with me. Are they? It's growing every day. It's growing every day. I be going, I got. I don't go through my message requests that much, but I need to start doing that shit more because it be all type of people in there, all type of, all type of people from all over the world. I got... Uh, a nigga from Brazil just hopped on my live. I was going live with some of my fans. A nigga from Brazil just hopped on my live. Can't talk no English, but he like he, he got my song on his YouTube. He like, look, <laughs> he got the computer. He got the he wrote a computer playing my song. You feel me? What like, song was that? Um, I don't even remember one of them songs. I got a video for it, so it, it was a video. I don't even remember. 
It was probably uh damn what was he playing? I think if with uh with twin with Project Maybe Twin. Got you. Okay. I think if. Uh huh. But um yeah he was playing one of my songs and he was he was just you feel me. And I was using Google Translate to talk to him because I didn't know what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you want so to make sure typing. you cross all yeah, lines like, of communication. It. Yeah, I'm like, type it. And I was typing my responses to him. Like, I was on one phone on Google Translate and typing him. Like, yeah, bro, I appreciate it. You feel me? Telling him I appreciate it. But in, in Spanish, though, because you feel me? Like, he don't know English. But, yeah, they fucking with me. I feel like my, my fan base is growing. I'm doing more numbers. I'm doing more views. You feel me? Uh, more people's tapping in, trying to work. Uh, people paying me now. You feel me? People paying me for shows, features, interviews, all that type of shit. People paying me, so I feel like it's going. It's going uh, how I need it to go. It had to feel good for your music to cross the waters, huh? For sure. That's for a sure. whole different fan know. base. I didn't know. Like I, I look like I, cause um, on my distro kit, I could see where my streams is coming from. And I look, and I seen it. I seen it coming from some like somewhere over there, but I just took it as like a. I don't know what I like. I didn't think that people was actually listening to it. Like I took it as like, you feel me? Um, like just I don't know what I took it as like a mistake or something. Like maybe bot followers. Yeah, or something. Bot, a bot or mm-hmm. something. I don't know what I took it as. I'm like, ain't nobody listening to my shit in Brazil. Like, but yeah, I got some crazy like. I mean, it'd be some crazy places like Nebraska, like just crazy, like look, look, crazy places. I'd be like, damn, like they listen to me way out there, but I do so much promo. <clears throat> I feel like the reason that is because I do promo on out of state pages. Like that's like one of my little secrets. You feel me? I do a uh, promo on out of state pages. So yeah, all up and coming rappers, out of state pages is the, is where it's at. You feel me? Like you're giving out the sauce. No, I want I want everybody to have the sauce. I, I want everybody. Like you feel me? I want everybody to out of state pages is where it's at. You feel me? Because that's gonna you feel me? Have I go to like the Atlanta version of unsexiest or like the Atlanta or like the the Dallas version of unsexiest or the New York version of unsexiest? You feel me? Like mm-hmm. they all got them. You feel me? They all little pages where they post their little videos or they fight videos or whatever, whatever. And I just hit them up and ask them, to, you feel me, how much for a post? Mm-hmm. $20, $25, get your shit posted up there. If they like it, they going to click your page and they going, you feel me? They be tapping in, they be in my DM, like, love. They be on my live, like, oh, love oh, from oh, New oh. York, love from oh, New Jersey. And I'm, I'm like, damn, I forgot. Mm-hmm. I be like, how do, you, how do you listen to my music? I be like, damn, I did put it on that New Jersey mm-hmm. page. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know. So more building your brand, man. It yeah. seems like. You happy in your career so far? Um, yeah, for sure. Everything is on the up and up. So, why the title? The new take this out. Why the title? Big Out Part One. <laughs> Cause I'm a big ass op. <laughs> a lot of people, you feel me? I, I don't know. I've been, but well, even before rap though, like I've been and been a lot of people that don't really, you feel me? It's not too fine to me because I don't hold my tongue for nobody. You feel me? Like if I feel some type of way. I'm going to say it. So it's like a lot of people being really, you feel me, not liking me before rap. You feel me? Because the life, you know, the lifestyle I live and all that. So, so like a lot of people been not liking me, but ever since this rap shit, it's like more people don't like me. I get fake pages coming, coming to me. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Got shit, little shit to say. You feel me? Uh, one dislike on my YouTube video, like how I get one dislike. You feel me? It's the same per. I got one dislike on every single last one of my videos, bro. It's like, come on, bro. It's the same person. You feel me? Like, this is one dislike. You feel me? Like, same one person disliking all my videos. Like, I just feel like you feel me. I just called it big out because it's a lot of people that don't like me. You feel me? And a lot of people that that be thinking they my op, but they not my op because to be my op, you gotta you feel me? Have done something to me. Or give me some sort of competition, or I'm not no bully ass nigga, so you feel me? Like, to be my op, you gotta, you feel me, show me that you my op, you feel me? Like, but a lot of people in my head, in their head, probably be secretly like, oh, that's my op, that's my op, or we ops, we ops. We not, I didn't know we was ops, we ops. Oh shit, all right, we ops then, you feel me? Like, so it's like, it'd be little shit like that. That's why I named it Big Op, because it's like, I just feel like that's like my alter ego. You feel me? Like that's one of my that's one of my other little nicknames. You feel me? I'm I'm still sloppy knots. I'm still coach. Still F busy, but I'm big up now too. You feel me? Like 
So you took on another uh, another moniker. Yeah, another, another moniker. Name. Exactly. <laughs> it's like another moniker. Big up. I am the biggest up. Last one. Soon as I jumped off the porch, I was a hot shot. When Aaron lived in the pink apartments on the stock block. Hey. Yeah, I miss my nigga on God, God. RP, my brother can't get no passes to no damn ops. I hate snitches, never talk to no damn cops. Oh, dusty guns, I got problems, I got my. You talked about that, um, not all throughout the tape, but there was two particular songs, um, and we'll get to that further, um, yeah. down the interview. So let's talk about choosing features on this tape because you don't really feature with a lot of artists. Yeah. When it comes to your EPs in the past, so how'd you go about choosing features on this tape? Um, <clears throat> shit, uh, never told. I think that's like the second song on there, or the third song on there. That's my blood brother, the one I was sitting on my the first interview mm -hmm. with the blue beanie on. That's mm -hmm. my blood brother. He wasn't a rapper. He's still not a rapper, but mm -hmm. I was in the studio and I had fell asleep, and he was in the studio with me. So he was like, I woke up and he was rapping. He was trying to rap and shit. And I was like, what's she doing? He was like, I ain't want you to waste your studio time. So shit, you feel me? I'm like, shit, I just tried it. You feel me? And he only had four bars. He had the first four bars. I finished it. And he was like, I don't got nothing else. I was like, I finished it, made it a hook. And then it just went like that. And I told him to put, put an eight bar verse at the end. You feel me? And then he put an eight bar verse at the end. And that's that been the most, one of the most popular songs ever. But that's like the top song on my album music right now. Everybody been fucking with that one the most, really, like. That and of course the other songs where you feel me. Of course, people love you feel me negativity, so they gonna fuck with the other little whatever songs, little diss songs or whatever. But but um but yeah, that was how that's how that feature came about. And then uh, talk about pros in the building. <clears throat> pros in the building. That's that's them all my my cousins, my 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 blood peoples. You feel me? Remember how I told you like pro boys. It's my my people's professional music group is the the the, the, the label the label okay. the group you feel me the you feel me like but pro boys is like my blood cousins and my folks you feel me so pros in the building basically you feel me we ain't, we we all live in different places like they live in the bay one of them live in the bay couple of them live in the bay couple of them live in Vegas you feel me I'm the only one in that live in L A so I'm so everybody else you feel me. We was all in one building at the same time, basically, and we just had to make a song. It was It's only one PT, PT Moolah, uh, that wasn't on that song, but that's like the three main pros right there, me, Rail, and X, and then uh, PT, too, but he wasn't in, he, he was in Vegas when we made that song, but yeah, pros in the building, I feel like that had to go on there, because we don't got that many songs with all of us on the, I got songs with each one of them separate, you feel me, like, multiple songs with each one of them separate, but as far as all of us on one song, we didn't have that, so I figured that had to go on there because you feel me. That's the only song that you feel, me? and it's and not you feel me. So I just feel like it had to go on there because that, that's like one of the only songs that we got together. It's it's interesting how you pick and choose features because um, on Instagram I think that you had uh, reposted it. Um, I had posted um, an excerpt from our old interview about how you value features and when, right. when you hop on people's stuff you make sure that they get their money's worth right, right? so i figured anybody that's going to hop on the fbz project it's going to be the same dynamic for sure mm -hmm. for sure i would hope so shit i hope uh, you feel me that's going to be the same i'm gonna give you what you want what you paying for so I'm quality gonna, product yeah i'm gonna give you what you paying for so for sure so i see that you shot a couple visuals lately mm -hmm. to your new project uh Let's talk about it. Yeah. And frenemies. Why did you choose? And I shot Never Told to Never Told probably coming out in a couple of days. Okay. Uh, Never Told shot. It's already finished, edited, and everything. I, I, so I got three visuals off that tape. Okay. Why did you choose, more specifically, why did you choose Let's Talk About <clears throat> It and Frenemies? Um, I chose Let's Talk About It. Well, I chose Frenemies. Let's talk about Frenemies first. I chose Frenemies because I figured it would be like a hard solo video to not have that many people in because I don't really got, like, all my videos is like a bunch of niggas, you feel me, just doing whatever, you feel me, regular gas station in front of the store, you feel me, some regular shit, you feel me? So I figured Frenemies is like a, it's like a more deeper song, low key. So it's like, I wanted it to shoot. So I wanted to shoot it solo and I had an idea for the video. That's why I'm like, I got an idea for this video. That's why I want to shoot it. You feel me? Like, cause it's frenemies. You feel me? So I don't want nobody really in the video like that. You feel me? Like, 
It was your message. Yeah, like, it was like, I wanted it to be solo just because the song's called Frenemies. I'm talking about how I don't really fuck with a lot of people. You feel me? Or, like, niggas be friends. You feel me? Frenemies. You mm-hmm. feel me? So, I just wanted to shoot that solo. And I since I had that idea, I was like, shit, fuck it. I picked Frenemies because I figured I had a good idea for it, like a solo video, just me by myself. You feel me? And then, uh, let's talk about it, shit. I did let's talk about it just because... You feel me? The song was so crazy, the song was so tight, and I did it. I did it like, I did the song, bro. I did that song in like 15 minutes. Called the video, called the video uh, person up. Hit the video person up, had them come shoot the next morning. Like, you feel me? Like, that song was just, I just felt like it had to have a video just cause, you feel me? What it was, you feel me? Like. And further down in the interview, we'll talk about the inspiration behind Let's Talk yeah, About. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. Um, so the album has some dope production. How many yeah. producers did you actually work with on Big Out Part 1? Um, I worked with G. Austin, um, Glide. G. Austin and Glide, I think. I ain't got no... Um, I bet I didn't switch my whole team up. I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't got no pocket beats on there. I don't fuck with Pocket no more. Uh, me and him fell out. You feel me? I I don't uh. Let me see who else. I don't. Know. I think just. Oh, and K Share. K Share. He from the Bay. I had K Share on there too. But uh, yeah. I basically got a whole new production team because at first I was strictly, strictly on Pocket Beats. Pocket Beats. Pocket Beats. And his beats is still hard. I ain't gonna. I ain't never gonna hate on a nigga like his beats. He still got the hardest beats. I really be, you feel me, like, you feel me, really be one of his beats. But it's like, you feel me, I don't, I don't fuck with him, so I'm not finna, you feel me, go, ask a nigga for a beat, you feel me, that I don't respect or that I don't fuck with. You feel me, like, I'm not that type of nigga. Like, I'm a real nigga, so I'm not finna, you feel me, just because just you got tight beats, I'm gonna be your friend. Like, no, I don't, I don't, if I don't like you as a person, I don't, I don't fuck with you, you feel me? I'm not finna fuck with you in no way, shape, or form, so... You feel me? Like, I turned down money off niggas I don't fuck with. You feel me? Like, I turned down all to, you feel me? I, t- I, I don't care. You feel me? If I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. So, that's basically what that was. So, that's why it's no pocket beats on there. But, yeah, I worked with G. Austin, Glide, and, uh, and uh, K. Share on a couple tracks. So, a new sound? Yeah, um, not really, because I still tell him I'm still protect with G. Austin. He cooked the beat. From scratch, like like he don't cook a beat till I get there. You feel me? Like so, he could be how you feeling. I'm feeling like this. I'm feeling darker. I'm feeling, you feel me? I'm feeling party. I'm, I'm feeling murder. I want a murderous type beat. You feel me? He'll make some dark shit. So y'all got some good that. chemistry. Yeah, we we got good chemistry for sure. Yeah, and he learning my sound. He never really made the type of beats. You feel me? Like that I rap on. You feel me? Like he's but he learning it. Like he learning like the your BPM, the BPM. Yeah, BPM. my BPM. Mm-hmm. You feel me? He learning. I don't rap on fast shit, so he know what to show me now. You feel me? Like it's just we just building a building a a, a, a relationship, a, a chemistry relationship. But our chemistry go crazy. Like and before I before I ever even rapped on his beats, he had recorded me a couple times. Like he had engineered my sessions a couple times. I didn't even know he made beats. He just came to me one day like. Like, I got beats, and I'm like, oh, shit. No he must have already been studying you. Yeah. So, uh, he was like, let me, you feel me? Let, let's see what we can do. Like, let's let's set something up. And we set it up, and we've been going crazy. I've been fucking with G. Austin damn near every day. We probably got, like, we finna come out with an EP, but we probably got, like, 30 songs together. Just, just you feel me, him producing, me rapping. And, um... Uh, we probably got like thirty songs together. We probably gonna only put like ten. We might do. We might end up coming out with like three, three, three EPs, three collaboration EPs together. Cause we got so many fucking songs. You feel me? Do you feel like you're starting to perfect Coach FBZ sound? Um. Cause I feel like you have a signature sound, and it's not yeah, a bad thing. Yeah, but I, 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 I feel like I. I feel like I perfected that sound, but now I'm trying to jump in different, different little bags. Like, ain't nobody heard it yet because I released. I want it to be, I'm like low key a perfectionist, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I want it to be like, it, it might sound good to somebody else, but if it don't sound good to my ears, you feel me? I don't want it. Like, if I can't, if I, if I leave the studio, this is how I do. If I leave the studio, if I can't play the song 
all the way till I get home over and over and over again, I'm probably never going to come out with it. You, you said me? that before. I'm mm-hmm. probably never going to drop it. You feel me? Like, if I can't leave the studio and drive 20 minutes and play the song over and over and over and over and over, you'll probably never hear it. You feel me? Come out. Because that's how just, you feel me? So, I've been trying to work on, like, some different type sounding type shit. But I ain't feel, I don't feel like I perfected it yet. So, it's probably, you feel me? It ain't going to come out till it's, till I feel like it's perfected. You know what I'm saying? I've been... Trying to, you know, melodize, you know, get on some little auto-tune type. Trying different things. Trying different, you know, trying to put my, you feel me, my foot in different shoes and shit. And seeing how it's working out. But as far as my my sound, yeah, I feel like I got my sound a lot. And I feel like don't nobody really sound like me. So I feel like when I hear somebody that, you feel me, that rap like me, especially that I know, like that I know, like either follow me on Instagram or watch me or, you feel me, like. It's a, and told me they fuck with my music before and they're not hearing rapping like me, I know where it came from, you feel me? I ain't gonna say no names, but there's some niggas out here sauce jacking. You feel me? You're not flattered? I'm flattered. It's cool, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how everybody, you know when Draco came, it was like, everybody rapping like Draco, everybody rapping like Draco, you feel me? Like, even Draco, you feel me? It say, feel me, niggas rap like me, you feel me? Like, it's like, you know, like back, back then, Rap, you used to have to have like your own style. You couldn't rap like somebody else and make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you couldn't rap like DMX and make it. Like, niggas were gonna be like, you sound like DMX, nigga. Absolutely. Like, you feel me? Like, you couldn't rap like that. So, I feel like everybody should just have their own sauce. You feel me? Have their own little, feel me, sauce. It's cool. It's cool though. I'm flattered. You feel me? Like, it's cool that, you feel me? Niggas is sauce jacking. I guess I am flattered that niggas sauce jack. <laughs> but. You feel me? I'm outside. The only thing I ever dug was the cops. And I probably dug your bitch, but I never dug no eyes. Me and Kevin sitting broke in that garage. We got to pot. Got a couple low pounds and we shipped them off the block. Nigga, you ain't make your first dub till a rap I'm shit. 60 at 19. That's my BM. She can fact shit. So when we talk about perfecting things and and just getting better, um, in what areas do you feel that you can do better in your career overall? Promotion. Promotion for sure. Uh, <clears throat> promotion, uh, not taking so much shit, like keeping business, keeping business with business. You feel me? Like I noticed in this in this industry, everybody ain't gonna be your friend. You feel me? Like and you're not in this shit to find friends. You feel me? Like you're in this shit to do what you need to do and go home. You feel me? Like so. I learned that, like, everybody ain't gonna be how you want them to be. Everybody ain't gonna be the same type of nigga that you are, you feel me? Like, the same type of person you are, you feel me? So, I learned that, you feel me? Like, and I feel like I need to work on that more because I be expecting everybody to be real or solid, you feel me? However you want to put it. And you know what, Busy? Um, I'm like that too, man. So, a lot of times I have expectations for people because I know how I move. Right. I mean, you've worked with me. Right. We've always been on the up and up. Right. So I understand when it's it's kind of a letdown. Like, okay, so the energy and the things that I'm gonna do for you, I can't even get a quarter of that back. Right. It kind of put a callus on you, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. For sure, I do. And it's like, <clears throat> so I'm trying to I'm trying to get better with that. Like, we're not getting like so mad when somebody's not like how I am you feel me like you feel me everybody's not gonna be how I am and everybody is not gonna be your friend and not 98% of these rappers is not even living what they rap you feel me or even lived it before even if you're not living it no more you you didn't even live it before and now you're just rapping about it you feel me I respect that you feel me I respect a nigga that used to live it now he rap it you feel me I respect that more you feel me than a nigga that never did it at all and just rapping a whole bunch of rah rah bullshit you feel me like you know what i'm saying so i had to realize that everybody ain't real you feel me everybody ain't living what they rap you know and shit and that's what i feel like i need to get better at just keeping business with business and you feel me like you know let's talk about the recent um for lack of a better term we're gonna call them rants um on Instagram, uh, <laughs> what mind frame were you in? <laughs> uh, shit. Honestly, bro, high as hell. Um, high as hell. Uh, you feel me? I'll be, you know, 
I wasn't off no 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 hard drug no crystal or nothing or nothing crazy like that. But I was high as hell off perks. You feel me off perks and uh, and lean and shit. But I was just you feel me that shit fuck with your um your mood. You feel me and make you meaner. Like I don't know it make you like you feel me meaner. I guess or like it don't even make you meaner. It make you yo emotions amplify. So if you happy you are gonna be extra happy. If you you feel me like if you mad you are gonna get extra mad. You know what I'm saying so. It was like, I was going through some shit, you feel me? Like, I was going through some shit. I was doing a lot of, I slowed down so much, though, so I had to get, I had to, you feel me, take a break off Instagram and shit, and uh, take a break, slow down with the drug uses and shit, you feel me? Because I don't want to promote drug uses either, but you feel me? If you're going to use it, you feel me, you got to use that shit responsibly, you feel me? And make sure you're doing what you need to do to to uh, balance that shit out, drink a lot of water, take your vitamins and shit, and me and don't abuse it you know what i'm saying you know it's because that shit will fuck with you and burn bridges and do a lot of shit and then half the time i'm waking up in the morning not even remembering you feel me like oh i, I, I flashed out on this person i flashed out on this person you feel me i'm a man so i'm not scared to i'm not afraid to you feel me speak on you feel me my mistakes you feel me or speak on my my problems or my struggles you feel me like that's what rap for, that's what interviews is for, that's what all this type of shit is for, you feel me, to speak on my shit, so, I was going, I was, I was heavy with the drugs and shit, you feel me, and I slowed down a lot, you feel me, I ain't gonna say I quit, I did, I tried to quit twice, you feel me, but I'm slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, weaning myself off of it to the point where hopefully one day I don't need, I don't need it, I don't even want to say I need it, hopefully one day I don't even want that shit, or, you feel me, I just, you feel me. So we talk about ownership, which um, obviously you took ownership for uh, for all of your actions. Um, mm-hmm. Is there any public apologies that you like to give specifically? Public apologies. Um, you can, cause you my nigga, bro. Um, I had wigged out on you, I ain't gonna lie. I had wigged out about some bullshit that we could have talked about, you feel me? But uh, <clears throat> I wanna apologize to shit. Um, uh, Chris, we like kid, good, real nigga, you feel me? Real nigga, you feel me? And you feel me? Show the nigga love on the, you feel me? On the feature and shit, he didn't have to do it. Um, uh, Chris, we like kid, for sure. Um, and I wanna shit, I wanna apologize to myself for even speaking on street shit. Cause I'm a I'm a street nigga, so you feel me? That shit not even supposed to be on Instagram in the first place. So I want to really want to apologize to myself. You feel me? Like for even bringing street shit to the table as far as the shit that's the the situation with Chrissy Life Kid. You feel me? Like that shit shouldn't even have been on Instagram. You feel me? Like, but as far as public apologies to anybody else, nah. Cause I still feel that same sort of way. I still sort of feel that same type of way towards the niggas that I the niggas that I got at you feel me i just the only thing i should just kept it off instagram you feel me that's the only thing that's my mistake you feel me i, I don't want to necessarily apologize you feel me but i want to you feel me acknowledge my mistakes more you feel me better that's a better term acknowledge my mistakes i should have kept that shit off instagram and kept it in the streets but you feel me i was tweaking and you know what personally uh i appreciate you Giving me an apology, man. You know, I always For sure. you. I don't really apologize. You feel me? To you a told lot me of, that too. I don't apologize <laughs> to a lot of niggas. Like I don't. I don't. I'm not a sorry. I'm not a. I'm sorry ass nigga. You feel me? Like I'm not the, that type of nigga. Like you feel me? Like even I will make my girl mad and I will just buy some. shit, You feel me? I will buy I'd rather just. You feel me? Try to buy some shit and just. But before I say sorry, you feel me? Like I don't know. I'm just that type of nigga. Like I don't really apologize to a lot of people, you feel me? So the people that I did apologize to, that shit sincere, but everybody else, I really don't give a fuck about, you feel me? Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck about who, who, whoever feel, whoever else feels some type of way. But that shit right there, you feel me? That shit should've been took off, you feel me? That shit should've been on Instagram. Oh. Niggas disloyal as fuck, it ain't no street code. Niggas telling for some pay, giving info, nigga, we know. Pocket tried to finesse me on some pay, thought he could play with me. It's all love, but when I see you, bitch, I'm whooping feet. I tried to open up the doors, give him a way to eat. Even my best fucking friend tried to get off on me. So, um, I was going down the tape, and, um, there's a, a couple standout songs. Mm-hmm. But one standout song in particular is Let's Talk About It. Um, right. We've been in communication since we booked the interview. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I actually have no information about this. This is um, new information. Uh, let's talk about the inspiration behind. Let's talk about it. Uh, a soft ass nigga <clears throat> is the inspiration behind that. Um, basically, shit, a nigga that I used to be cool with, you feel me? Um, try to, you feel me? A nigga, I don't know, like, niggas think they could talk to me certain any kind of way, and I'm not, I'm big on respect, you feel me? Like, from, from, from jail to the streets, you feel me? Like, you go to jail, you're gonna learn respect, you feel me? Like, you're gonna learn how to come at a man, you feel me? Like, you feel me? I'm a grown man, bro, you feel me? Like, so if I feel disrespected, I feel disrespected, so... For me, basically, you feel me? I felt disrespected by the nigga who I dissed in the song. You feel me? I ain't gonna say his name because I ain't giving you no fame. I was having a conversation. He came at me crazy. You feel me? So basically, I told him drop a pen, nigga. Let's fight. Let's get it out. For me, like, we could fight. You feel me? I wasn't saying I don't want to be friends with you no more. You feel me? Whatever. We could fight. We could we could fight. We could smoke a blunt after. You feel me? Like, but I feel like you disrespecting me. So you feel me? Like, I want to fight. He don't want. He didn't want to fight. You feel me? He didn't want to drop his pen. He didn't want to do none of this. He, you feel me? He don't. I know he don't want to go no further than no fighting. You feel me? I know he don't want to do that with me because he already know what type of nigga I am. You feel me? So he ain't want to drop no pen. Nigga, I offered the nigga ten thousand. Said nigga, put ten thousand. You would get money, nigga. You claiming all this rich shit in your raps, nigga. Put ten thousand up, nigga. I put ten thousand up, nigga. We could box in gloves. Celebrity, nigga, we could have a boxing match, nigga, in gloves, nigga, and judges and all that, nigga, and whoever lose, lose their 10,000. I really beat the shit out of you, you feel me? That's how, I was, that's how I felt. That's how I still feel, like, I really beat the shit out of you, but I ain't no bully, so if I see him, I wouldn't, you feel me, just beat up a nigga that don't want to fight, you feel me? Like, I'm not I'm not a bully-ass nigga, but I was on him, I was on him, like, nigga, nigga, 10,000, nigga, put 5,000 up, nigga, you don't got, you don't got 5,000, nigga, I'll fight you for 1,500. Whatever, I'll fight you for 500, nigga, whatever, however, nigga, nigga, whatever, nigga, I'm trying to get this nigga to fight, he don't want to fight, so I'm like, all right, nigga, you only tough in your raps, say less, nigga, I can out-rap you, I know I can, you feel me, you, you, you didn't ask me to, you feel me, hop on your songs and do features with you, and I never, I always, you feel me, that's why I said in the song, nigga, you, I used to beg me for features, gave you the cold shoulder, because I didn't never like this music, so I was like, feel me, nigga, uh, all right, yeah, woo, uh, dip out the studio, you feel me, like, type shit like that, like, I never really, like, you feel me, like, I, I never really liked his music, you feel me, like, I don't know, so, it's like, shit, I ain't really fuck with his music, so I never did no features with him or nothing, like, I did, we got probably, like, two songs together, because we used to be in the same studio, and Pocket put them together, you feel me, Pocket put them songs together, like, I used to come to the studio, and Pocket be like, oh yeah, I added a verse to you, Ooh, that's how he ended up on one of my tapes, you feel me? Because I really liked it, that song. And at first, it was just me and Matt. And he was begging to get on the song, begging to get on the song. And I was like, the beat for And Pocket was like, oh, I'll extend it for you. And extended the beat. And I was like, fuck. Like, I never wanted the nigga on the song, you feel me? Like, I never wanted him on that song. But the, the song was so hard, you feel me? Without, with just me and, uh, with me and HBK Matt. And I never wanted him on the song. And then Pocket was like, oh, I'll extend the beat for you, no problem. And I'm like, damn, you didn't catch the message? Like, you feel me? Like, I, f- I filled up the beat on purpose. You feel me? Like, I didn't want you on the song. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he got on that. He was able to get on that song. You feel me? But we only got, we, we ain't never did no music together because I never really fucked with his music. So, you feel me? I'm like, but you so tough in your music, though. You feel me? Like, you rap about all this. I'll knock a nigga out. I'll do this. I'll shoot this. I'll shoot that. So, I'm like, what's up? Like, what's up with all that tough shit you talking in your music? Let's get tough. Now it's time to get tough, you feel me? Now this is where, you feel me, niggas get exposed. This is where niggas get exposed for being rap capping ass niggas, you feel me? When when it's time to get tough and you not like that no more. All of a sudden it's, oh, it's no big deal. It's, uh, but you tough in your raps. All right, so now I'm finna rap this you. And nigga, if you rap this me back, then we can just have rap beef. So you felt the need that was at that point it's... At this point, it's okay to keep it all on wax. And yeah, and he blocked me. He blocked me. And I'm like, I, but I know he's going to hear this song, though. You feel me? Like, he blocked me, so I couldn't say nothing else to him. But I'm like, I know he's going to hear this song because we, you feel me, we, we got mutual peoples. You feel me? So I'm like, I know he's going to hear this song. So I'm like, I'm finna, you feel me? Keep We could keep it on wax, nigga. We could, we could keep it, nigga. I'll, I'll, I'll wrap circles around you. I made that song in 15 minutes. I'm like, I, soon as we got, soon as, soon as he blocked me, I went out open my laptop. I swear to God. What's next up for you musically? Um We got Big Out Part One out big, right now. Big Out Part Two. Big Out Part Two. How many features on that? Um 
three. I got I go well, two so far. I'm waiting on one to come back. I don't know if it's gonna make it back in time. But uh, I don't want to say I don't want to say his name because it's a big one. But um, but yeah, I got two. I got two so far. It might be three. And then uh, I got me and G Austin tape. And then me and uh, Joker got a collab tape too. That's done already. We just trying to get a uh, figure out a name and shit for that. And that's all produced by G Austin too. Me and Joker EP. Yeah. I've been working with G Austin a lot. Bro. We probably got more than three. We probably got fifty songs, honestly, bro. You know, I do like four songs, four or five songs every every what's the name session. So we probably got more than that. This was a a different type of sit down, man. We had a lot to talk about. Yeah. Um, I've been uh, fortunate to watch not your early career, but I caught your career kind of early. And, you uh, caught no, you caught that shit early. Did I really? Yeah, okay. hell yeah. <clears throat> you caught respect. my career early. For sure. Um, I think you've grown as a person. Um, as an artist as well so I definitely wish you um, nothing but upward ascension in your career so uh, got a question I've been meaning to ask you so you're 25 years old right yeah okay so what would a what would a 25 year old <clears throat> coach F. Beasy tell an 18 year old coach F. Beasy <clears throat> nigga rap Rap, nigga. I would have told myself a long time ago to rap because I probably would have been famous already. And you feel me? And, like, I noticed it's a young nigga sport. You feel me? It's a young nigga sport. So, I feel like if I would have been 18 coming, how I'm coming now, you feel me, with the with the uh, consistency and all that, uh, who knows, you feel me, where I would have been. You feel me? I started, I'm like low-key like a lay bloomer. I just started rapping last year. You feel me? Like, if I would have been rapping when I was 18, I agree. One of one or two things ought to have been way more doper or way more way more bigger than where I'm at with my music career, you feel me? So that's what I'll tell myself, just rap, nigga, rap right now. Fuck twenty waiting until you're twenty four to rap. I ought to tell myself at eighteen, if I could go back and tell myself something, I'll tell myself get in the studio and rap right now. Why the fuck is all my ops, man? Hey sir, I just hey, told hey. you we rich. I just counted up a hundred fifty cash. I was mad. I was mad. Why all the I was mad? Is it cause I dropped two hundred on the dash? I was mad. I was mad. Why all the I was mad? I was mad. Why the fuck is all the I was mad? I was mad. I was mad. I was mad. Hey, why is all these broke niggas always mad at coach? Cause I rock thousand dollar coats and they bitch wearing coach. Cause it's a thousand dollar pop and you can't draw the boat. Or I just made a quick ban off a give and go. Pick your roll. Coach called a play, is guaranteed to go. He's a clown anyway, shoot him in his nose. I'm outside every day, niggas don't want smoke. And I ain't never take the chain like I'm Draco. Hey bro, remember that one nigga that was talking high tech? That one nigga that do hella push ups, he got biceps. Yeah, that one nigga that think he Debo, he a bully nigga. Caught his ass today and hit him with the fully nigga. You a fool, Draco with the Mossy niggas, hype, blah da da. I ain't dead though, but pulled up at his house to have a pop up shop. Until these bitch niggas kill me, I'm not gon' stop. Until you bitch niggas score. Yards, not real ops. Hey, why the fuck the ops mad? You should smile, duty. Smile. All this drip up on my body need a towel, duty. You ain't seen a dub since EDD. It been a while, duty. Wow. Oh wow, duty. Hey. Hey, that's a sad case. Fast car, skirt, skirt, I like to drag race. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. You ain't never got no chicken, that's a sad case. I upload a hundred bands and rub it in your face. Hey, hey. You ain't never got no chicken, that's a sad case. Ay. Fast car, skirt, skirt, I like to drag race. Ops man, ops man, ops man. I, I just counted up 150 cash. Ops man, ops man, why all the ops man? Is it cause I dropped 200 on the dash? Ops man, ops man, why all the ops man? Why the fuck is all the ops man? Ops man, ops man, ops man. I was smash on this nigga, he's a JK. He's a JK, ayy. All the house man, why the fuck the house man, why the house man? Is it cause I got some shh in the stash? Is it cause I got some shh in my bag? Why the, why the, why the house man? I don't know why the house man. Truthfully, I couldn't tell why the house man.